What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Now today, we're still journeying to different restaurants. And today I wanted to kind of stay at home and play with a restaurant that I'm familiar with here. So if you know anything about Chattanooga, you know about the Chattanooga Choo Choo. But one restaurant that really stands out to me is Crystal's. Been around since like the 1930s. If you're from up north, you're familiar with um, White Castle, which is kind of along the same lines that Crystal's offer. White Castle and Crystal's are very similar. So today, I'm gonna recreate the Crystal. Now, the Crystal Corporation here has um, fell upon some, some, some hardships. And um, so I don't know their status or if they're closing soon or whatever, but if they are, this recipe will help you continue to recreate or if you find yourself and you moved away from Chattanooga, you can recreate these burgers and create nostalgia wherever you're at. So today we're making a crystal burger. So sit back, relax, and welcome to the Bistro. You all on my lane, you all on my lane. You ain't overlooked, so get out the way. I gave you the book. Yeah, you the game. The boy got a cook. Yeah, yeah. The boy got a flame. Yeah, serving in the kitchen like a Nino. Plenty bitching, whipping different flavors like a bistro. Kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a C no. Switch and keep it pimping every single place that he go. I got it. Lathan got the flame. Lathan got the flame. Boy, you know the name. Get up out the way. Lathan got the flame. Lathan got the flame. Stay up by the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Lathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man. Okay, we're back. So for the cheese crystals, we're actually using these rolls here. Um, so good Sara Lee rolls, um, just rustic bread, kind of resembles um, the bread we're familiar with crystals being on. So what we want to do is we want to get our meat ready and we want our meat to be the same dimensions as this bread. Um, so that's what we're going to work on now. So. We got some parchment paper non-stick. You want to use this because we're actually going to freeze the meat as well. So make sure you get you some good parchment paper. And uh, for this application, we're going to use ground chuck. Just because when we see that deal at the store for that ground chuck, we, we buy it because it's, it's great. So, we got the ground chuck there. And we kind of want to work it into the dimensions of that bread. Now, if you bring the meat up to room temperature, it'll be a lot easier to work with but I didn't want to bring it up to room temperature just to freeze it. So it's going to be a little hard to roll out, but I'm going to get there. So since I got it pretty much almost flattened, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to get a, another piece of parchment on top and then we're going to roll it out some more. Okay, so what you see me doing now is rolling it out with, with my rolling pin. And I'm just trying to get it as thin as possible, um, as well as the same size as that bread. So you're gonna see it's gonna look very um, out of shape. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually take my knife and I'm gonna trim it back up into shape. So it's gonna look very decent when we get done with this still here. Then you see me kind of patching up the mistakes that I made um, by making it too thin. I'm kind of passionate with the extra meat that I'm taking off of it. You see me just patching away. Like I'm telling you, once you get in the zone, man, you just you just feel it and you just, just work at it. And eventually you'll get to the part where it needs to be. Getting these steps together, it's almost like building a puzzle, man. I mean, it, once you get to working with it, you have fun with it. But then we're gonna roll it right back out, just the, the meat that we put on there, just to make it thin. And once we pull that parchment paper off, we're gonna cut it into the pucks. 
and once we get them cut into the pucks, we're gonna actually freeze them. Now, I know my pucks may not look the way they supposed to look. They, they're, they're not even at all. And that's what I get for trying to cook without my glasses on. But you get the point that we're making. And like I said, I always say this, cooking, man, it, it's, it's just fun. You just gotta go with it. You make a mistake, you just gotta keep rolling and keep cooking, you know? There's no mistakes in cooking, so. Yeah, next time I wear my glasses, though. <laughs> Don't beat me up too bad about that. But, yeah, we're going to get them cut into pucks, and then we're going to get them frozen. And then I'll be right back here to meet you back in just a second. So, welcome back. All right, now, making these crystal burgers, the first step is going to be rehydrating these onions. Now, you don't have to use dehydrated onions if you don't want to, but traditionally, that's what they use, and I want to be as traditional as possible, so I'm using these dehydrated onions. But like I said, you can use onion and mix it up yourself, but we'll just pour some of those onions in there. We don't need much, because I think three tablespoons of this will equal like a half a cup of onions. That's a pretty good amount. And uh, I just got some warm chicken stock. I think they use water, but you know, I wanted to add a little bit of flavor to those onions. So we got the onions prepped, put a little more in there just to make sure we got enough because this was going to help us create that steam to cook those burgers. And we're going to let the onions sit for a while. And I went ahead and used hot water for the onions. So um, it should rehydrate quicker. But while that's rehydrating, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna set up the cheese. Okay, now, so let's get our cheese set up. So I do know that they use American singles. Um, and theirs is kind of like specially made. It's, it's the actual size of the burger. But we don't have that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and if if I was to cut this in the same size of as the burger, it'd be a lot of waste. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just triangle it. And once it melts, I mean we wouldn't even see the shape of it anyway. But also they use pickles. So and I think it's one per, so we got twelve. So we'll go ahead and lay out 12 pickles. We'll just stick with it. And then the next thing we have is good old yellow mustard. So we got this prepped up. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our patties out, break them up, and then we're gonna cut our bread. Well, let's cut the bread first and then we'll get the patties out. So, okay, so we got our bread here and we wanna just break them apart. reason being we're gonna steam the bread with the patty so we want all of them to be individual so once we break them apart we'll go ahead and slice them in half and we can actually leave them on the board so this is like some good artisan bread like I said we already got them cut in half so we're just gonna set this aside we'll go ahead and get our grill set up get it hot Cause when we put the onions on there, we want it to immediately start creating steam so we can get our burgers on. But before we do that, let's get our burger situated. Now, when I put this in the freezer, I had it propped on, to, on something and I should have laid it flat. That's my bad. Um, so mine's look kind of kind of funny, uh, but we're gonna try to fix that. So apply a little pressure. See if we can just break them up. So we got our grill hot. So this process should be pretty quick. We got our onions good and hydrated. Before I put the onions on there, let me test. Yep. So we'll go ahead and put our 
onions on the grill. And we're gonna leave our liquid sitting here because we wanna use some of this liquid to steam with. So, we got the onions on there. Let's go ahead and put our burgers. So I read somewhere that the patties never really touched the grill on the first side because they just sitting on top of the onions. So there you have it, our at home sack full, crystal sack full that is. They look just like crystals. Now, let's see if they actually taste like crystals. So, it's going for the taste test. And honestly, they do. Like I said, the only difference is between this one and crystals. Crystals is a tad bit thinner. So next time I make them a tad bit thinner. But all in all, this tastes just like the crystal sack full. And the crazy part about it is the ground chuck that I got, I got it on the special. Um, and it was, I want to say $2.99 a pound. The bread cost me maybe $3. Jar pickles, mustard, cheese. I mean, you can make so, many, so much more of them than you'll pay for them at the store. So all in all, these was pretty incredible um if you got some time to kill and just want to make something jazzy try the crystal burgers and like always i want to thank you guys for accepting the invitation into my world my house my kitchen until next time <laughs>